Have you ever felt so tired that you wanted to drop dead? Well, if that's the case, spare a thought for NASA's spacecraft Voyager 2. That's because the spacecraft was launched in 1977 and has been soaring in outer space for the past 42 years, trying to discover never-before-explored discoveries. But there is also some good news that you need to hear today. Voyager 2 is finally back. And it has come back with some major mystery findings in space. But what are the most mysterious findings that this spacecraft has returned with? And why have these findings made scientists fall into a frenzy? If you're curious to find out, then watch to the end of this video. Also, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done so, as it helps us out a lot. Without any further ado, let's jump right in. Number 1. Locating unknown layers between the boundaries of our solar system and interstellar space. The latest data from Voyager 2 suggests that the division between our solar system and interstellar space might not be as straightforward as previously believed by scientists. The spacecraft's recent phenomenal discovery claims that it has located unknown layers between the boundaries of our solar system and interstellar space. The phenomenal discovery was made by Voyager 2 when it detected solar winds, which are streams of charged gas particles from the sun seeping out of our solar system. What the spacecraft found was that some kind of material from the solar system was spilling out into the galaxy at distances of up to a billion miles just beyond the boundary of the heliosphere where interstellar plasma flows over the heliopause. The discovery was confirmed by Edward Stone, a physicist who has worked on the Voyager missions since 1972. In a call, he said, there appears to be a region just outside the heliopause where we're still connected. There's something still connecting back into the inside. But what is the heliosphere of the heliopause that we're talking about? If you don't know, the heliosphere is a bubble-like region of space surrounding and created by the sun, and it is formed in the plasma physics sense as a cavity in the surrounding interstellar medium. This cavity is constantly inflated by the solar wind, which is plasma originating from the sun. Beyond the heliosphere, the solar plasma gives way to the interstellar plasma that permeates our galaxy. There are several differences in radiation levels between inside and outside the heliosphere, with cosmic rays becoming less abundant within the heliosphere, providing a shield for the planets inside, including Earth. Whereas the heliopause is the boundary of the heliosphere where our sun's solar wind is stopped by the interstellar medium. And so with that clarification out of the way, Amazingly, this region, during the discovery, showed that the plasma density increased by a factor of 20 or more, covering billions of miles in this area, which indicated that something was compressing the plasma outside of the heliosphere. And what could that possibly be? It was another boundary that was never believed to exist before, lying just outside the heliopause. Another interesting fact is that, did you know, while Voyager 1 and 2 spacecraft were launched within a very close time span, Voyager 2 was the one that made the discovery and not Voyager 1. But why is that? Well, you see, what happened was that the plasma instrument on Voyager 1 was not functioning during its crossing, so it could not accurately determine the transition from solar wind plasma to the cooler material of interstellar space. In comparison, the plasma instrument on Voyager 2 did not sustain any damages during the last 42 years since it's been launched, and therefore it was able to reveal a much smoother transition from the heliopause to a strong new magnetic field beyond the solar system compared to Voyager 1. The spacecraft, as a result, was able to measure the plasma in the interstellar space for the first time, providing valuable new insights. What is more is that, while scientists are thrilled and eager to gather more data and a better understanding 
these boundary layers, the Voyager probe launched in 1977 and has been on a long journey. Exploring Uranus and Neptune is, unfortunately, nearing the end of its career. Bummer. The power source of the Voyager probe, a plutonium-238 core, is gradually losing its energy, and in about five years, the probe is expected to be officially retired. Nevertheless, scientists believe that they are still capable of making additional measurements in interstellar space using this Voyager satellite, and after its retirement, the probe, while it can rest peacefully, will remain in its own orbit around the galaxy for billions of years, with the chance of its collision with anything being almost non-existent. As Bill Kurth, a co-author of the study on plasma density, has stated that the two Voyager spacecraft will outlast Earth and continue their orbits for 5 billion years or more with a near zero chance of collision. Whew, that's reassuring to hear. Some other scientists also believe that after this spacecraft will expire, it will continue to drift through space and will be useful in carrying messages for any potential alien encounters in the form of a golden record. And for now, while this claim seems to be quite far-fetched, with astonishing space discoveries making appearances on our news feeds every day, who knows, maybe this will come true. Number 2. The Discovery of a Magnetic Field Around Uranus The discovery of a magnetic field around Uranus was a significant moment in the exploration of the solar system made by Voyager 2, because before that it was not known whether Uranus had a magnetic field or not, and if it did, what its properties were. So how did Voyager make this discovery? The detection of a magnetic field around Uranus was made possible by the spacecraft's magnetic field instrument, which measured the strength and direction of the magnetic field surrounding the planet. Data collected by Voyager 2 showed that Uranus had a strong, tilted, and offset magnetic field, which is much different from the magnetic fields of the other giant planets in the solar system, Jupiter, Saturn, and Neptune. The discovery was also significant because it helped to shed light on the process that generated and sustained planetary magnetic fields and provided new insights into the structure and dynamics of Uranus itself. What's more is that the finding also had implications for the study of exoplanets. This is because the discovery shows that magnetic fields of planets can vary greatly from one to another and that magnetic fields are not necessarily aligned with the rotational axis of a planet. Number three, and last but not least, another mysterious discovery made by Voyager 2 is that it discovered several new moons and rings around various planets. For instance, Voyager 2 discovered rings around Neptune, and like the previous discoveries before, Voyager 2 came back from outer space, it was not known whether the Neptune planet had a ring system or not. But that all ended when the spacecraft came back with the discovery that Neptune indeed had a complex system of rings, including a famous one known as the Adams Ring. And it's not just Neptune, but a ring around Uranus was also discovered by the spacecraft, which was later named the 1986U2R Ring G. With that said, the detection of new boundaries, moons, and rings around Uranus and Neptune all highlight the importance of exploring the outer solar system and discovering new phenomenon in our own spatial neighborhood that we have never explored so far. What do you think about these discoveries made by Voyager 2? Do you think Voyager 2 will serve as a time capsule that will be opened by alien life in the future? And what more mysterious space discoveries by Voyager 2 are you looking forward to? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, if you enjoyed watching this video, do press the like button and tap subscribe to stay notified and keep watching amazing videos about space telescopes, NASA news, and other space updates. See you in our next video.